I guess when I watched all the devastation on television, I felt that I wanted to do something myself uh, to help the people of Sri Lanka where I lived till I was 15 years old and then moved over to live in England. I just went over to Sri Lanka to see if there was anything I could do to help. So I went to look at what the needs were as far as education was concerned. And so that was how it started. My name is Dilani Banta. I was born in Sri Lanka and I live now in Fleet. I set up Ocean Stars Trust after the Boxing Day tsunami of December 2004. Right, so we have just landed in Mumbai. And we're gonna go get KFC, woo! I'm tired. I'm really tired. I'm really hot, but I'm really excited. Thanks, Jay. But really happy to be back in Sri Lanka. I'm really excited. We landed at five, and it was dark when we landed, and now it's completely light at six. Really, really tired. We are on our way to a local school to play a game of cricket with the locals. Happened. We walked through a beautiful I'm not in it, but I'm right here. area and they gave us no sounds. We started to see yeah. Yeah. You out, Jake? <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> The next day we journeyed into the Sri Lankan countryside to visit a rural tribe. You're representing mankind. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Ha <laughs> ha!
Um, we're picking tea. Picking tea. Yeah, no more Yay. Come on, James. <laughs> Harry, what did you think of tea plantation? It's great fun. Really? Yeah. Would you pick tea again? Yeah, I'd pick tea again. I've left my hand in there. what have you learned about tea? Great fun. About tea? Uh, you have to have the two leaves and then enough to bite at the end. Top, and you can pick it with like two leaves. Like Would you go tea picking again? Yeah, any every yeah, day of my life. I'm okay. going. Number two is a special herbal tea. The husk separating the rice and the bread. Yeah? Mm -hmm. With the prayer, children, please come. Open. Oh,
I would say to them to grab the opportunity because it is a life-changing experience but it is also a safe trip in the sense that it's not like you're traveling on your own everything is organized within the safe atmosphere of the trip you're able to experience lots of uh, situations which would never arise in the UK and uh, you're challenged emotionally physically but you also meet fantastic people build lots of relationships so I would encourage anybody who feels that they would like to have an adventure and uh, see the world then this is a good starting point.